Good afternoon po. So ngayon, activity 3, gagawa po tayo ng uh, mag-open muna ako ng price sa ating ating pictures na gusto natin yung entry po. So yun na tayo yung picture dito. Yun, meron isa. Ito yun yan. Ito yun yan. Type ko na lang. So this is Ang gagawin natin, uh, how to turn a photo into a sketch with Photoshop. So, yun po yung pangyayari dito sa activity. Open na muna tayo ng image. Pag na-open na, so lalagyan lang natin ng effects. Okay, gumabagay. Wait, wait lang din. Pag may time, yan. So, ang gagawin, unang step, add a whole saturation adjustment layer. With my image newly open in Photoshop, we see in layer panel that the photo is sitting all itself on the background layer, currently the only layer in my document. So, yung gagawin daw siya. Okay, so next. To create our sketch spec, the first thing we need to do is remove all the color from your image. And we can do that. Then the stuff we're using our view saturation adjustment layer in the adjustment panel. Uh, and click view saturation at the top. So we're going to do So after that, And then, meron na tayong hue saturation. Anong next step na gagawin? Uh, drag that saturation uh, slider to negative 100. Drag that saturation slider to the negative 100. Tapos, ano? Saturation to negative 100. Good. So, naging black and white. Next. Uh, black and white na siya. The next, select that background layer. Click the background layer. Ito natin background layer. Then, duplicate the background layer. Control J po tayo dito. Control J. So, next step. Ito, nagkaroon na tayong background copy. Invert the image. Control I naman tayo niya. Control I. Okay, so invert na natin yung image. Next step, change the layer blend mode to color dodge. Yan, sige, yung nandito, sa so, tapat ni Opas, gagawin natin color dodge. Dito sa may yung ala. Color dodge. Next, o oh, nawala. So next, ayun, nawala mo dito. Then convert the layer into a smart object. So, punta tayo doon na Nagawin doon natin smart filters. So, paano mo yun? Good. So, so, dito naman sa pinakaan, no? smart object tayo. Convert to smart object. Convert to smart object. Okay. Anong nangyari? Nagkaroon tayo dito ng icon. So, next step. Kung na-convert na, ayun pinatukoy na. Apply the Gaussian Blur Filter. Punta tayo kay Filter, Blur, tas Gaussian Blur. Punta tayo kay Filter, Blur, tas Gaussian Blur. Tapos, gawin natin radius niya is 12. Ito yung radius na ano dito. Ayan, 12 pixel. So, tama yung mga natin ginawa. So, 12 pixel, then okay. So, next step, uh, click OK. Okay tayo dyan. Then, as I mentioned moment ago, one the great benefits of applying the filter is that smart layer is that the motion blur will be done instead. Smart filter below is a smart object. And you have to find uh, sketch. Bit more fine turning simple, double click directly on the motion word. Uh, on the word motion blur 
Duro L. Uh, to reopen the dialog box and the address the religious value. Okay na tayo sa religious value. Ganun daw dapat itikip natin itong Gaussian blur natin. Na tayo na to para ma-adjust daw natin yung value niya. Uh, so tulad na lang siya okay na. So next. Ganun na tayo graduate. Add a level adjustment layer. So punta tayo dito sa adjustment panel. Then levels. Ito yung sa second icon. Gawin natin siyang level 1. So click. So na yung mga ayun natin. I want to put properties in the detail. Yeah, uh, yes, send them a good time. Adjustment panel, level. Okay, adjustment panel. Level. Okay. So next, we can put it level one. Next, we can go in. Then in level one, then blend uh the blend mode to multiply, a multiply in blend mode natin. Sa baba na time, we natin multiply. Okay, next, the step. Okay, next natin, lower the opacity if needed. So, opacity natin, gawin natin 60. And 62. So, next. And I pick after lowering the opacity, then select and duplicate the background layer again. Then that is a background layer of it. Click on it into it and control J. Next. Uh, second graph that the background layer. Then okay, the background layer to that time. Okay. Okay. The next step. Ining the layer color. Okay, gawin natin color yung pangalan. Color. So next step, drag the layer above the others. Okay, so yung color na ginawa natin, iangat natin sa lahat. Tapin at taas. Okay, so tuk -tuk na siya. The next step, when the white bar appears, release the mouse button to drop the color layer into the place. Okay, now change the blend mode of the layer color. Uh, change the blend mode of the layer to color. So, we not color now. Blend mode, color. Next step. And lower the color layer opacity, 65%. Color opacity niya is 65%. Okay, that's 64. The next step, ayun, the final effect na po pala yan. So, kanya, pagkatas niyan po, 
Save lang natin yan as PNG. Save as PNG. Para pwede na siya save. So, stop share tayo. Stop recording. Bye.